They say a picture's worth a thousand words, but what about a hundred thousand dollar fine? That's what a, that's what selfie hunters posing with little blue penguins in Napier could face if caught. Department of Conservation Ranger Chris Wooten says it's disturbing that people are pestering and potentially hurting the birds during nesting season. People have been picking up penguins and taking selfies, posting them on social media. So it's firstly, it's illegal behaviour. Um, under the Wildlife Act, penguins or korora, little blue penguins, are totally protected wildlife. So first of all, it's an offence, but secondly, it's um, not good for the wildlife involved. We're in the middle of breeding season at the moment. Penguins are coming ashore to nest, raise their young. So any disturbance of them at all is not good for them and their chances of successful breeding. It's just plain daft, isn't it? It is idiotic behaviour. You've got to wonder what planet these people are on if they're living in a Disney cartoon, perhaps, to think this is appropriate behaviour, because it's not. What do you think is going through their heads? Why are they doing it, do you reckon? Well, I think it's just a degree of um, selfishness and perhaps um, symptomatic of the social media world that um, everyone's pretty much a part of these days, but it's um, definitely just simply idiotic behaviour. So you think they probably just want a cute pic with a, a little blue penguin so they can chuck it up on their social media? I would say that's the case, Lisa, that, that's um, what they're doing, but uh, they're doing it um, in ignorance of the fact that they're breaking the law. It's definitely an offence under the Wildlife Act, then. the Papa Artify Dock will follow up in all cases, so we're encouraging people to report these people and if they see that sort of behaviour going on or even note it online then let Doc know and we'll follow up. Okay so it's against the law but let's explain to people why it is a problem specifically. What are you doing when you pick up one of these little blue penguins and yeah there's no doubt they're cute but yep. what what are the risks? Well the first risk you're going to pose to yourself is you're going to get a nasty nip and potentially lose an eye or, or part of your finger because they've got pretty strong beaks, beaks the adults. If you're picking up chicks out of nests then um, they may be infected with parasites so you'll be getting a perhaps a dose of fleas if you insist on doing that. And in terms of the birds themselves, what damage could you do to them? Well, for, it's like for all wildlife, if you're disturbing them, um, especially during the breeding season, you, you're wrecking their chance of reproducing, bringing up their young safely on the nest. And it's not just um, korora or penguins that um, you know people need to be aware of in, in our coastal situations. And certainly the time of the year when people are going down to the coast more, but wildlife such as Kekano or New Zealand fur seal, ashore and places where we've got nesting shorebirds. So they, it's all wildlife that people need to be aware they're sharing that coastal space with. Can you damage their kind of waterproofing if you're handling them? Well, potentially you could. Um, you, you know, you could um, do physical harm to the birds just by rough handling of them. Um, our, uh, our message to people is just leave wildlife well alone, keep some space. If you want to take a photo, take it from some distance away. No problem with that. So, people who have been foolish enough to take a couple of snaps of themselves with a, with a little blue penguin and chuck it up on their social media, are you going to look at that social media and track them down and have a word? Yes, we will. We're, we're always um, taking reports seriously. This particular report we've received through, and we're going to follow it up as best we can, try and identify the people involved. Um, and people doing this sort of... Um, activity or, or um, this behaviour, they, they can expect Doc to be following up. Um, potentially they could face a fine under the Wildlife Act or um, even to the extent of imprisonment, the um, offences under the Wildlife Act provide for that. So what's your basic message to them? What, penguins are not a plaything? Yeah, penguins are not a plaything. Penguins of wildlife, um, they're our taonga, our treated species on the coast. Um, enjoy them but keep your distance. Chris, just out of curiosity, what kind of fine could you get for this? Uh, the Wildlife Act provides some fines up to $100,000. So it could be a pretty expensive selfie. Yep, that's right. 
And that's Department of Conservation Ranger Chris Wooten there.